Hello students, today we will discuss the subject computer applications for the class 10th. In our last video class we discussed unit 2, some topics of that unit still remaining, so we are going to discuss that. Okay. Description list. Okay. Description list is a list that facilitates us to provide the type of description which is available inside the books you have seen some styles like heading is there and after that in the next line after some indentation the definition is written there so it looks very attractive so how to write in that way but nowadays that style is not being used very frequently but still we should know how to do that uh, let's see the example before then we will discuss it will be better see this is the example description list the heading is book then it is vitamins heading is new new list whatever the name we should give and the definition is started after some indentation it looks helpful it looks attractive so how to create this so to create this we have description list okay dldn dt tag in our html so just see how we can do that see the code here dl dl tag is there to define the description list this is the start of description list and after that dt dt means description title okay then dd description definition whatever the title we have written the description of that okay just see this example book and the definitions okay so this is the book and this is the definition the next title is vitamins and some descriptions are there vitamins. and this is the new list created okay. we can create multiple lists so this is the list and here another list we have this is deal every time we have to start with the deal and a single list may contain multiple items multiple terms multiple definitions it depends upon you it depends upon the developer okay so you see line number 19 dt description title and td description of the description list okay so this in this way we can create description listing so DL tag defines the description list, DT defines the terms or the names and DD describes the term. And this is the syntax. DL should be started and then DT, then term or the name which is going to be defined and then the description definition of that. Description definition. Okay. Now the font tag. Use of this tag is to change the font. To change the font size, to change the color of the font to enhance the text quality it is used to change the font font size color etc Means in a one word the font tag is used to enhance the font quality and how to do that see the example let's see page we have created with three multiple three different different colors orange blue and green just looks like our tricolor national flag it is not exactly that but it looks like so how we created this see the codes here because this is very helpful once we will see the code it is going to help us so started from the line number nine see the font tag is used and in the font tag some attributes are used the first attribute which we used is the face which is used to define the name of the font which we are going to use then size it is defining the font size then color it is defining the color of the font okay so in this way we can create and we have created three fonts we haven't uses any uh, br tag so to give the line spacing that's why no line spacing is here see no line spacing is here one paragraph end and another paragraph started and the next paragraph started okay so this way we created all these things okay so font face is there 
to define the name of the uh, name of the font size is to define the size and the color color is there to define the color of the font so the first is orange in color see this is orange in color second one is blue in the color and font size is also increased and then third one is green in the color and font is different comic sans algerian consolas see the difference of the fonts there are three fonts here comic sans all the text written in the orange color is the comic sans this is algerian and this is consolas okay now coming to the next point see the codes this is going to help you uh, have this page opened with you all okay now image type how to insert images into html file into html document so img tag is used to insert the images and src attribute is required attribute without src we cannot insert any images so src attribute is used to specify the address of the image or it is used to specify the url another word we can say alt tag is there to define the some texts if in any case or anyhow our image fails to load then that text is going to save us and that text will appear there height attribute is there to define the height of the image to set the image height and width is there to set the width see the examples because without example html is not interested interesting see this we have inserted three images on the page okay and size of the page is reduced so that we can see all the images okay it's going to see the code of the this is the code which is written to create that page suppose this is img src whatever the address of that image then alt tag is used to write the text see the example see the use of this alt tag here all the images are being loaded okay all the images are displaying being displayed now we will change the address of one image see you we'll see we have changed the code refreshing the code we have changed and now we will reload the on this page here nothing is visible because our second image is not being loaded see here nature text is appearing because we have defined alt tag as nature so this is the use of nature tag if in uh, this is the use of alt tag uh, alt attribute in any case our image fails to load then this text will save us and that text will appear on the browser okay now reloading that page okay everything is okay now okay just see another example of this image tag see this is another page and here all the images are looking like looking of the same width and height and here they have different height and width these two are same but this is different but here all these are of same height and width how it is possible it is possible just because of this height and width attribute of the image tag the first image is reduced to 800 height and 1200 1280 pixels because this is the actual size of this third one image third image second image is also reduced so we can use height width anywhere there is not any specific sequence because before src we used height and width doesn't matter you are free to use that must be used inside the image tag that's it okay um, this is okay so this is the use of height and width attribute alt attribute we have seen okay alt attribute height and width and src attribute is also used okay coming to the next topic 
superscript and subscript. What is superscript? What is subscript? SUP tag is used to create the superscripting and SUP tag is used to create the subscripting. Okay, uh, one typing mistake is here. Sub tag is used to create subscripting and super tag is used to create superscripting. See the pages. See, this is the example of subscripting and this is for superscripting. Subscripting means writing the formula, writing the chemical names like this style and mathematical forms we use to write in the superscripting. A plus B ka whole square. Whole square of A plus B, whole cube of A plus B. So whatever all these texts, how we can write? This we can write with the help of superscripting and the chemical formulas we can write with the help of subscripting on the HTML. See the codes. main thing which we have to see is the superscripting and subscripting this is subscripting h subscripting 2 plus o subscripting 2 equals to h subscripting 2 subscripting and an o this is the main concept all these font styles and this are not need to be focused here here we have to focus on the line number 11 and that is very important how it is written now k 2 mno 4 see the pattern how we can write k 2 mno 4 sub tag is used to define the subscripting and the text which is going to appear inside the subscripting then mn o the subscripting 4 then c6 s12 o6 now how we can write superscripting a plus b this is the text superscript equals c is 2 so it is written inside the sub tag Okay, SUP tag, then A superscripting 2, B superscripting 2 plus 2AB, A plus B whole Q superscripting 3, superscripting 3. So, this is in this way we can write. You have to pay attention if you are writing 3, if you wish to write 3 inside the as a superscript, then it must be closed, it must be written inside the super tag. Super tag is also container tag. Okay. So this is subscripting, this is superscripting. Okay, it is very clear. See the code once. Okay. Now HTML forms. What is the use of HTML form? Form is used to collect the user input. And form element is a container for different types of input elements such as text box, check box, radio button, drop button, drop down lists, submit button, reset button, normal button. So some controls may not work without form tag. So they must be written inside the form tag to work properly. If you suppose you wanted to use submit button, reset button. So before, without form tag, if they are not written inside the form tag, they will not work properly. Because if you are going to use submit button, what what data that will submit? So to submit that, there must be any form. That's why the form element is there to be written on the HTML page. Now the text boxes. How we can create the text boxes on the HTML page? Input tag is used to create the text boxes. It is most important form element and input tag have several types like text box, check box, password, radio button, normal button, etc. See the codes because without seeing the example, See, this is the text box. Here we can write anything. HTML class. Okay, here. Oh, whatever we are writing, it's not visible. Okay, very good. So this is the password type and this is the normal text box. So how it is created? The normal text box. Just write input tag and it is created. Input tag is also, this is also an empty tag. So it need not to be closed. This is. We can uh, define type inside this type also, but this is the default type text box, so need not to define. Okay. We have to define here type equals to text, but it is not necessary because by default, if we use input tag, browser understands that we are going to use text boxes. Okay. Now, coming to the password. Password. 
It is also a way of taking input from the user used to take sensitive information. And the type equals to password is used. So in this style, this tag is used to create the password. See once again. See password input type equals to password. It is written here. Okay. Whatever you are writing is not visible. Okay. Now radio button. It is radio type input field. Okay. At a time only one one single radio button may be selected, may be clicked. To achieve this property, all radio buttons must be grouped by name. See the example and it will make you it will make a very clear concept for you. Because without example, it is a little bit difficult to understand the radio buttons. See this is the radio button. Choose your gender, male. Well, wow. we can select only one option at a time. We cannot select multiple items. Okay, we cannot select. So this is the quality of radio button. Now, how to design this? How to achieve this quality? How to create? So just see the codes. How we can write? Choose the gender. See here, male text is written here, and after the text, we have created the. First radio button that is type equals to radio. Input tag is used. Type equals to radio. Then name equals to gender. All the radio button must be grouped to achieve the property of being selected one at a time. Okay. So value equals to male because if anyone is going to click here, what value must be submitted? Value must be male. Then female value must value equals to female. Name equals to gender. Third button, others value equals to other. So value will be, value will change for each and every uh, radio control, but name is same. If we will change the name, then what will happen? Now we have changed the name. Now see what happens on the page. Now we can tick all the radio boxes. So you should avoid this error. Name must be same for each and every radio control. Okay. Now again, everything is okay. Okay. Now check boxes. Check box type is used with input tag to create check boxes. More than one check box may be checked. And how? See the example. This is our check boxes. Tick the languages you know. Yes, here we can click on multiple check boxes. So this is the property of check boxes. They are allowed to check multiple options. Okay, and how to create this? See the codes. Input type equals to check box. Value equals to C. Type equals to check box. Value. Here you should avoid grouping them. Okay, that's why name attribute is not used here. We are not going to group them. Okay. Value change for each and every text box, uh, each and every check box. So in this way we can create. Okay, it is not compulsory to select all. We may deselect also. Okay, if you do not want to select this. Okay, you can click here. So this is the check box, and this is the way we can create. This, this is the important type equals to check box. Okay, drop down list. It is also a type of input taking method from the user and all the options are hidden. We have to click and then the list will appear. That's why it is known as the drop down list. Okay, all the lists are appear in the downside and select tag is used to create the drop down list and the option tag is used to insert the values. See how. See, this is the drop down list, and after clicking on this drop downward arrow, you will get all the options. Okay. So, this is the drop down list, and how to create this? See the code. Select ID equals to language. Okay, this is not important. ID is written here just to for this label. Label tag is used. Label tag is used to set the focus. If we click here, it will focus. Okay. 
it will focus this that's why this label tag is used and id is used here so select and the name is okay then options these are the options that are hidden inside this list okay there are multiple attributes of this tag also but here we will not discuss them because our syllabus does not allow us to discuss all the attributes here okay so we are going to discuss next comma box comma box it is also a type of list here we have to define the size attribute and so combo box is just like the drop down list but here drop down feature is disabled by defining the size and see how we can do that okay the rest is common see this is and this is the combo box all the options are here but we have defined size equals to 3 see how we define defined see all these things are same everything is same okay every code is same see the code of this drop down list and here what we have used select id and name nothing else select is sufficient okay and here is also here just we have defined the size equal to 3 it means by default it will show the three options okay any three options it will display at a time okay we may allow multiple options to be selected but uh, later we will discuss if about if the time will allow us how to embed audio and video into the html pages see this is also very interesting part audio tag is used to insert the mp3 file or audio file into the html document and the control attribute is there to add the audio controls like play pause Uh, increase the volume, decrease the volume, mute the volume. So all these controls are enabled with the help of control attributes. Let's see the example. So this is we have created, and three different different songs are there. One is of four minute thirty nine seconds. Second one is three minute eighteen seconds. Third one is of eight twenty five. Just tell me to play any one. Yes, it's playing. Can you mute this. Yes. Are able to mute? Are able to play with the volume control also? Okay. Pause this. Play another song. Okay. So the controls are working very good. Okay. We may play anyone. So now see the codes. How it is inserted. So audio con audio tag is used. Audio controls attribute is used to enable the controls. SRC SRC attribute is also very important because it is used to define the address of the file which we are going to insert, which we are going to embed. And then very important, we have to define the type also. Okay, audio or MP easy because we are using MP3. That's why MP easy we have to write. Okay, and audio tag is closed. So three audio controls are used. Three audio tags are used to define, define, to insert, to embed three different different songs. Okay. Okay. So this song is muted, but this song is being played. So I'm just I'm going to pause this. Okay. Very good. Now we will discuss video control. Video tag is used to play the video. video files in the html means to embed video files into html documents we have to use a video tag and control attribute is also used here to add the control video control like play pause and volume height and width attribute are used to set the height and width of the video player means we are going to embed and video file inside the html and that will be played inside that file so we have the option to define the height and width of that video file see how we can do this See, this is a form which is created, and we have one video that is also being played. See, this black border is defining height and width of this video player. Okay, see the codes how we have written them. 
see video tag is used and controls are there to allow the controls play pause volume okay Here. maximize the screen see the code here we have defined width and height also if we will not define height and width then what will happen type is also very important so i'm just going to remove the height and width section just we have removed now what will happen this is the default appearance so this is 100 percent size and this is the appearance now we will refresh this page now now that border is not appearing see okay so in this way we can change so this is of without height and width and this is we have decided the height and width okay and this is the code and this is the code Here we have width and height, and here we do not have width and height. Okay, so coming to the next point linking. How to link the text? How to link the documents? And what is linking? See, the process of embedding link into HTML document is known as the linking, and it is of two types internal linking and external linking. Internal linking means it redirects to another section of the same page that is known as the internal the page which you are visiting the page which you are accessing if that link redirects you to this another section of the same page that is known as the internal and if that is redirecting you to another page of that same website or another website that is known as the external linking and this is the way we can create the link we will see the codes, but first see the practicals. After clicking here, it is redirecting us to another page. Okay, it is opening here only. And this is also opening here only. Okay. So this is the way. It is redirecting to another page. See the URL is being changed. So this is the URL 13. External linking .html. To make it clear we will change the browser see we have changed the browser so to, to see the address see this is the address 13 dot external linking dot html and so we are going to click here see this is address is changed okay address changed to the 11 video dot html going back clicking on another table another link again link is changed 12 so linking is our link is working and it is it is our it is an external linking because it is redirecting us to another page see address is changing okay now we will see internal linking so this is the page we have see the page once okay see the page once and this is the page we have and we are going to click here on this paragraph 1 now we are on the section of this paragraph 1 and back paragraph 2 and this is the paragraph 2 and where it is paragraph 2 it is paragraph 1 it is on the same page ok so in this way we can change we can use the internal linking also ok and how it is designed and this is the code okay. how it is done it is done with the help of this name attribute of this anchor tag anchor tag is used to create the hyperlinks and here we okay 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 see the codes how we created our external linking and internal linking I think I 
I forgot to show you the codes of the external linking. This is the external linking. And to create this, anchor tag is used to create the hyperlinks. And the most important attribute of this anchor tag, href, hyperlink reference, it is used to define the address, define the URL of the document which we are going to link. Okay? Do not pay attention on this target. We will discuss just, just after the internal linking. Okay, and this is the internal linking. So this name attribute is used. Okay, define the name of this anchor section. Define pattern one. Whatever the text we have written here. Okay, then another image is used here, and then another anchor is used with name attribute on the line number 18C, para two. And here we have again href hyperlink reference, and here we have used paragraph one. Whatever the name, whatever the value was given here, I have used here as the hyperlink reference address. And here, second, okay, and this is helping us in this internal linking, okay. So in this way, we can create what we have to remember, hyperlink reference must be to the value given on the name and that is name inside the anchor tag. One more important attribute which we are going to discuss is the target. Okay, this is the target, and this in this is very important. This attribute defines how the page will open, how the page will appear. Okay, for this we will open another example. We have created an iframe here, and in that iframe another page is used. So see, this is. This is opening on another page. This is opening on the top of this page. And this is opening inside this frame. And this is also opening on the top of this. Notice the differences. Before that, see the codes. See, this is the code of this page. And this HTML links. This is the page. We have created an iframe. So, source of this iframe is this. Now we will discuss this code, this page, code written on this page. This is target equals to blank. Target equals to, under, uh, target equals to underscore blank. This value tells the browser to open the link in another, in a new window, on a new page. Okay. This is opening on a new page. Okay. Now, this one, the second link. Second link is underscore parent means open on the top of the document open on the open inside the parent container this is the parent form this is the iframe this is the frame used inside this page html so this will open the link into the page okay this is parent and next one is self self means by default this value is default we have used this iframe so once we will click on this page html table see html table we have used here and this is self so it will open inside this frame self means where it is where it is used it will open there see this and the next value is the top top means it will appear on the top of the it will appear on, on the full window. The parent and top, almost similar, but they have some unique properties also. Okay, we will discuss it later. Just you should know how to use. Them. Just read it. Just read this once. The blank value inside the target attribute opens the link in a new window. Self opens the link in the same frame. This is default. Parent opens the link in the parent frame. And this is just read this. And after this, we will start discussing table. How to table table is a 
form of a collection of rows and columns in which we can arrange the data. See the code how to create the table. Okay. And uh, I have another video in class 8th where we have discussed this table. And if there is any doubt, you may take the reference of that video also. So this is in this way. Table attribute is uh, table tag is used to define the table and then TR is there to define the table row and then TH. TH tag is used to define the table heading. See this. This is the table heading, name, class and roll number. The appearance of name, class and roll number is different from all these data. So this is the heading. Okay. And after that again TR we have to create. This is the first row. On the first row we have created the heading and on second row we wanted to create we have inserted the data mr a tenth a and on third row we have mr y Let's see this is the first row this is the second row this is third row and this is fourth row mr w and if you select all you'll see that there is formatting this is uniform every text is started inside the column inside now we will discuss some attributes of the table tag. I think this is one. See, same table but with border. Okay, and what is the difference between the code of that? One attribute is used that is border. Border equals to one. Just defining by border, we have this very attractive mode of presentation. Next attribute is the height attribute. Okay, just see the code here. See, we have defined height attribute. Height equals to fifty percent. Fifty percent of the window which is appearing. So, height and width both. Here we have used height and width both. Okay. Height is same. Height is same for the both the tables and width. See the codes, then you will feel the differences. Height 50%, width 50%. So the 50% of the window. Okay. Now this is cell padding. And what is the difference in here? Here the texts are starting. See the difference. Here, here we have the table, and here we have cell padding. Now see the difference. Here the text is started just from the border, and here we have some specific distance. How it is possible? See, border attribute is used, height used, width used. Cell padding equals to 50. We have defined 50. This is the example of cell spacing. We have defined a specific distance between the cells that is known as the cell spacing. The space between two adjacent cells. See the codes and it will make some more clear. See here, cell padding 50. That is also visible here and cell spacing is 20 so the space between the cells is 20 okay everything is same that's why I'm not displaying all the codes the main change is here on the line number 8 okay see the cell spacing is used so cell spacing use cell spacing is used to define the space between the cell and cell padding is used to define the space So next topic is our CSS. CSS stands for Cascade Style Sheet and it is of two types, internal and external. It is used for designing, it is used for the attractive presentation of the page. With the help of CSS, you may transform the presentation style of the page. 
and it is of two types internal and external so in this video class we will discuss the extra internal section okay and in internal style we may apply the css in three forms in the form of class selector in id selectors and inline selectors okay now what is inline the help of examples see here this is the example of css page we have created three headings and we will see the codes Just pay attention here title equals to css and then style tag is used inside the head section okay style type equals to text or css then h1 h1 is the selector this is the tag selector h1 is the heading h1 is the tag and then curly brace and after the inside the curly brace we have defined color red and then terminator must be used so the first heading is second one h2 color green s3 color aqua see the pattern the curly brace must be curly braces must be opened then write the name of the attribute and then after colon sign assign the value and then semicolon must be used to terminate okay and see here we have used h1 s2 and h3 so this is the way of internal styling okay and this is neither id based neither on class and this is the another example of css we have changed the background color this is and this is we have changed the background color and text color also we have changed see how it is possible it is possible just by h1 color hello means the font of the color we have changed h1 then h2 color white as to tag inside white white color s3 in aqua and then inside the body section this is very important with the help of this because body we wanted to change the color of the background color of the body section body tag so inside the body body selector background hyphen color colon coral and this is okay this was already visible here but just what we done here we just applied the background color with the help of body tag stuff see two paragraphs are here and every paragraph have some different different borders and this is the border designed with the help of css see the code and it will make some more clarity the body this is clear and p dot dashed p means we were, we are defining that p tag paragraph tag dot dashed means the class dashed okay dot whenever we wanted to use the class selector then we must use dot see here the class select class selector I started with dot and then the class class name okay id selector I started with has and then id name okay inline style written inside the tag and how it is written we will see the examples Just come here okay p dot dashed border style equals to dashed border style hyphen dashed border color white and then p dot solid means we assigned another class dot solid see this is the first paragraph i have used class dashed and for another class solid that's why all they have different different borders okay see this this page we have created and uh, text having some space from this margin you see that and here there is 
no space and here we have ample amount of space and how it is possible see the code body tag is used see the most important thing margin left 50 means whatever the text which we are going to write inside the body whatever the tags which we are going to use inside the body they must be started after this 50 pixel space and the text first written is the text without paragraph and then the first paragraph is used and see in the paragraph tag we have defined margin equals to 50 pixels and margin right 100 pixels that's why it have some extra 50 pixel space from this because for this body tag we defined that every tag must start after this 50 pixel space but inside the body tag we, we defined that this paragraph tag must appear after 50 pixels so the body is starting from this space from here only but we are instructing the page to appear this paragraph to appear okay i think it is clear so first you have defined kiya ki body ke andar mein jitne bhi content aap likhenge wo 50 pixels ke space mein hone chahiye and after inside the paragraph tag humne define kiya ki another 50 pixels ka space hame chahiye to yahan se jo body hamare start ho raha hai jo body ki jo lining yahan se ban rahi hai iske baad bhi hame extra 50 pixel ka space yahan pe mil raha hai okay so this is the way we can overwrite jo humne pehle se 50 pixels define kiya tha humne us pe 50 pixels aur add kar diye so css can work in this manner also okay if we will define 0 pixel here then it will start from there and if you will define 100 pixels so no need to define 0 pixels if you are not going to define any margin here see the code we have changed and now refresh this page ok I think it is clear now Okay, let's change the code again. Okay, it is very clear that we may use, and here we have applied the right margin also. See, that's why it is giving space here. If we will remove this, what will happen? Just remove this margin pixels. See, see the changes in the code. We have changed the code and now what will happen on the page? See the differences. Okay. See we here we have used some two divs two divs div, uh, known as the division to illustrate you the height and width example Let's see, see the code first see the code first here the body tag the font uh, here div div class style one paragraph dashed okay paragraph class dashed then another div div okay, see. Here we have used the paragraph styling, doesn't matter, you may remove them. So see, style 2 is for height 100 pixels, width 480 pixels, background color white and style 1 dot means the class selector. Okay, this is the class selector and our height for style 1 and where it is used. So style 1 is used for the div 1. And style to use for the div two. See the example. Okay. And the paragraph one have some. Paragraph one doesn't anything. And the paragraph two that is of style two. Solid. I'll see the quotes here. Here, this is known as the inline styling. 
दिस इज इन लाइन स्टाइल रिटर्न इन साइड द टैग सही है एवरी कोड इज रिटर्न एवरी कोड वी हैव डिफाइंड स्टाइल इन टू दिस टैग लाइन सो मार्जिन लेफ्ट इक्व टू जीरो पिक्सल यू विल बी एबल टू सी दैट हेयर वी हैव डिफाइंड फॉर द पैराग्राफ मार्जिन लेफ्ट फिफ्टी एंड मार्जिन राइट हंड्रेड पिक्सल्स सो ऑन दिस पैराग्राफ वी आर ओवर राइटिंग दैट मार्जिन राइट जीरो पिक्सल्स एंड मार्जिन लेफ्ट जीरो पिक्सल्स दैट्स वाई हेयर दिस टेक्स्ट इज अपियरिंग जस्ट फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ दिस डिव एंड टचिंग जस्ट लास्ट बॉर्डर ऑल्सो एंड हेयर we have 50 pixels and here we have 100 pixels of space okay and the first style have aqua color second style have the white background color the body having coral color and this do we have aqua color in the background this do we have the white color okay i think you are comfortable with this style also pay attention to the codes so the preference of inline is highest whatever the style we will define into the tag just with the tags that will be considered on the priority okay so inline is giving inline is given highest priority then id selector then outline how to define outline here we have created a div with a background okay so this is outlining some extra lining outside the border and how it is done see the code body tag is there okay body style styling of paragraph tag is there style 2 see here outline color is green outline color is green then this is for style 2 and outline style dashed outline style dashed then outline width 10 pixel this is the 10 pixel now see for style 1 for class and see uh, how we have used this this is style 2 so in the class we have written style 1 and here inside the class we have written style 2 okay now we are going to discuss style 1 what is written in the style 1 outline color yellow Okay, this is outline color hello. Outline style solid. This is solid, and then outline width 10 pixels. Okay. So in this way we can create outline after the borders. If you are not using border, then also you can create outline. How to play with fonts? Okay, just before that, we will close all the tags. Here we are going to play with all the font tags. See the codes here. So the font tag is there to define the font name, to change the font, to change the font color, to change the font style. Okay, in this example, we did not change the color of the font, but we can change. i will show you how to change so see here it is the div everything is same but we have changed we have removed the outlining and the font family whenever you will use the style whenever you will use css then we have to use font hyphen family and without css it is font space face okay here font family algerian font style oblique oblique means just like italics style 2 this is oblique this is for style 2 this is style 2 and the font is algerian and here on the style one whatever the font family is mb boli font style is italic both are same so what we have to see the font style and the font family and we can
See this, I have removed all the other styling. Just what we did is this. See the codes. Very simple. Just the style one, a class used, font family MB Boli, font style italics, color red. Okay. And another. See here, font size is reduced. 100% see font size is reduced and how it is possible see the code because without code nothing we can do this is this is the attribute which we have to use font size finances whatever the size you wanted to give you may give okay if we increase that it will increase 15 pixels no see it is 15 pixels now we are going to discuss align style css how to align the content how to align the things on the pages okay so inside the divs we have this is this is arranged just like justified this is in the justified manner because left and right margins are equal or straight and this is right styling right left right alignment okay just we will change the things so that we can clarify it here font style oblique text align right See, this is the page okay now I wanted to show you the code see here we have text alignment justify for the style one where we have used Algerian font uh, font family MB Boli and on another we have text alignment All right see the differences it is right aligned and it is aligned centered We'll change the things MB Boli not justified. It must be center. Okay. Center. Now see the differences. Earlier it was uniform from the left and right.